Good afternoon. For those of you that may not know who I am, my name is Linda Friday and I'm the president of the Queen Anne County Chamber. And we'd like to welcome you today on this beautiful day. You couldn't ask for a prettier view and um, a beautiful location. So um, thank you for coming and we hope you enjoy our um, excellence in business. This year, the Chamber's, this is our ninth year of producing the Queen Anne's County Business and Home Expo. We appreciate your participation in the event and I'm pleased to say that we have many businesses here that are repeat participants and many new businesses. This is a great opportunity for businesses to gather together in one place to present their goods and services. We encourage each of you to take time to visit each other's booth. You never know what you may find or what connections you may make. And I, I know that that's true because I make connections every year and I get to meet some of your employees and staff, which is really awesome. As an added feature to the, commu to the community, some of our businesses will be accepting employment applications. And if you are um, and you did mark your application, there is a balloon flying at your, um, at your booth. Um, so these businesses have employment opportunities and as our guests arrive, we will let them know that you are off accepting applications. At this time, I would like to recognize our board of directors from the chamber. Um, to my right is Eric Hoffman, who's our chair. He's done a fabulous job. He's with the Holiday Inn Express, so if you have guests that are visiting or um, you'd like to get a night away from family or whatever, um, <laughs> call Eric and I'm sure he'll make arrangements. Um, he's done a really good job and he's been very, very good to the chamber um, when we do our our lunch and learns or any type of meeting, he's very generous to us, so thank you, Eric, for all that you do. Uh, Casey Palmer with Palmer's Plumbing, I know she's here. Casey's our vice chair, she'll be our incoming chair at the end of the year. So Casey, thank you for all that you do. Um, they, they have a, a great business um, here in Queen Anne's County and we appreciate all that they do. Uh, Gail Roop, unfortunately, is under the weather today and uh, she's with APG Media, she's our secretary. So we'd like to thank Gail and APG for all that they do and the marketing that they've done for this event. Uh, Ralph Twilley, I know Ralph's here someplace. Uh, Ralph, Ralph's our treasurer. Um, he's a recycled board member, as he calls himself. Thank you, Ralph, for all that you do, and um, thank you for supporting the chamber. We really appreciate it. Uh, Suzanne Luzinski, who's with Anne Arundel Medical Center, is our past chair. She, unfortunately, is not able to make it. Um, Al Helfenbein from Helfenbein Insurance. Dale Walls from Corsica Technology, Judy Wink from Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, Doug McCartan from Capriotis, John Ludwig, I know you're here, from Queenstown Bank, um, thank you for all that you do, um, Bill Cahey from Edward Jones, Tammy Rosendale from Rosendale Realty, Susan Vienna from Fisher Gate, and Chris McGargie from Resource One. So I'd like to thank our board members for all that they do and the, the endless hours that they give us. Um, without them, telling us or directing us on what we should and shouldn't do, um, the chamber wouldn't be what it is today. So thank you for all that you do. Can you give them a round of applause? As many of you know, um, the chamber used to function with three staff people and Victoria moved out of the area several years ago. So the chamber is run by Susan and myself. And Susan, I know you're here someplace. There you are. Um, so I'd like to thank Susan for all that she does. Um, she keeps me organized, and uh, I, I think I keep her organized. So anyway, we, we're constantly reminders of each other of what we need to do and where we need to be. So thank you, Susan, for all that you do. Um, we couldn't, couldn't do it without her. We'd also like to recognize the Bay Times, who will be reporting, and Bay, Bayview Photography, Cindy Sigmund. Thank you for all that you do. Um, she's going to be our photographer this evening, so thank you. Also, Quack TV, uh, Mike, thank you for filming this. This is going to be on TV tonight or tomorrow or next week, uh, whenever Mike gets it edited. But thank you, Mike, for all that you do. Mike puts in a lot of tireless hours. I know at all the county commissioner meetings and things like that. So thank you, Mike, for, for all that you do. Um, finally, I'd like to recognize um, Samantha. Samantha is with Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. She's actually been our coordinator for this event. So thank you, Samantha. I know she's around here someplace. But thank you for all that you've done to uh, make this event successful. Um, it does, you know, sometimes you have an event, just like a wedding, and you get a couple of hiccups, but we've been very fortunate working with the Beach Club that they've been able to make this uh, just a fun, easy event. So thank you, the Beach Club and Samantha, for all that you've done. Um, we are very fortunate also to have our sponsors. As you all know, if you're in nonprofit, I know there's a few nonprofits out, we couldn't do this without our nonprofits. I mean, I'm sorry, without our sponsors. 
Um, the chamber is a 501c6, so we are a nonprofit. So we are supported by our members and our sponsors. So um, at this time, we'd like to recognize those people that are sponsors of this year's event. And the first um, sponsorship is the uh, Expo sponsors. And the Shore Update, I don't know, Sherry here, is somebody from Shore Update here? I know they were here earlier, but um, we'll make sure they get it. So I'd like to thank um, the Shore Update. PNC Bank, Twan Oaks, if you could come forward. I have one of your, thank you, Twan. Twan's been a sponsor of this event since the very beginning. So thank you for all that you've done, Twan. Thank you. Also this year, we have um, K. Havnanian, Four Seasons, that's um, looking to be built. We'd like to thank them for sponsoring. And Mike or uh, Dee, if one of you would like to come down and get, a, get your plaque. Thank you. We appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you. Also, the uh, Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. I don't know if Samantha's come out or anybody from the Beach Club, but if not, um, Lauren Roan, would you like to come down and accept the plaque for the Beach Club? She's up volunteering for us today, but she's also, um, she works for the, for the inn, so thank you. And the Bay Times Record Observer, I don't know if um, anyone came back from, from them. Okay, we'll make sure they get it. Um, also, at this time, we'd like to recognize our award sponsors. And our first one is Corsica Technology. Is there somebody from Corsica here? No? Um, WCEI, Mitch. Had to get out of that rocking chair, Mitch. And yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. And making me sound good on the radio. I appreciate that. Um, also, uh, Queen Anne's County Economic Development Commission and Economic Development, Jean Fabi, I think Jean's here. Thank you um, to Queen Anne's County Economic Development and the Economic Development Commission. Jean is the liaison and wears many hats, so thank you. Um, Bay Area Association of Realtors, Bob Friday. Mary Tobin, who's the, who's the president of Bay Area Association of Realtors. Thank you for supporting. Yeah. Mary is actually a past, past president of, or past chair of the chamber, so thank you, Mary, for all that you do. She's actually the secretary of Maryland Association of Realtors this year, so Mary, thank you for giving back. Um, WCTR, is there someone here from WCTR? Okay. I'd like to thank them for all that they do, helping us promote this event. We can't do it without those people that are out make, making our community aware of what's happening. Thank you, thank you. Um, Eastern Shore Dental Care, I know there's um, somebody here from the Eastern Shore. Dr. Billings, do you wanna? or Murf Dr. Murphy, okay. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. They had a very large expansion over the last year, year and a half, so we'd like to thank them for all that they do here in, in our community. Um, also, Merit Aviation Services, Mark. I'd like to thank Mark. Mark actually works at the airport. If you ever need a, somebody in aviation flying over your home or whatever, Mark can make that happen. So thank you, Mark, for all that you do over there. At this time, I'd like to recognize additional sponsors. Um, our bag sponsor this year was uh, Blackwater Distilling. Our home sponsor was Queenstown Bank and Chesapeake Environmental Lab. And the Friends of the Chamber is REMAX Executive Mary Tobin, KRM Development, Maryland Residential Management, Cindy. Cindy's here. Um, Anne Arundel Medical Center, Atlantic Broadband, University of Maryland Shore Health. So I'd like to thank um, all of our sponsors and, and all of the people that are participating in the event this year. Um, at this time, I'd like to present our chairman, um, 2016 chair, which he's only got a, two more months and then he's done, he's done a fabulous job, um, is Eric Hoffman. Oh, okay. All right, guys, thank you, thank you. Uh, I have the privilege of presenting this year's Excellence in Business Awards, um, but before we get to the first award, if there are any past recipients here of, uh, of any of the awards, please stand and, and to be recognized.
thank you guys for being committed to the county and the chamber and making this place a great place to live. All right, getting to the first award. Uh, our first award this year recognizes Volunteer of the Year. Uh, the Volunteer of the Year Award is presented to a chamber member who's supported the chamber and staff throughout the year. This year's recipient is someone that's always willing to jump in when the chamber staff needs help. As many of you know, when the staff went from three to two, there was a void of talent. The person that was able to step up is someone that many of you know and probably use their services. You may see this person at many events where they have shared or where they have served on the board or have served on a committee. This year's Volunteer of the Year Award goes to Susan Viana of Fishergate. Uh, I'd like to invite uh, Denise Lovelady up, uh, representative for Andy Harris, who will present a proclamation from Congressman Harris. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a beautiful day. I'm not oh, sorry. Pleasure to be here. I'm going to present a, a certificate of congressional recognition to uh, Susanna Vienna Fishergate in recognition of being named Volunteer of the Year by Queen Anne's County Chamber of Commerce, and it's signed by Congressman Andy Harris on October 10th or 20th, 2016. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next I'd like to, up to invite up Senator Hershey, who will also uh, do a proclamation. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very, thank you very much. Um, have with me here a uh, official citation from the Maryland General Assembly. Be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to Susan Viava in recognition of receiving the Queen Anne's County Chamber 2016 Volunteer of the Year Award. And that's next, Delegate Aarons. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I also have a citation for Susan Viana. <laughs> it seems I run into her everywhere. She's always <laughs> doing something for somebody. And a lot for me, too, personally. Um, Susan, this is uh, from the Maryland General Assembly, an official citation. Be it hereby known to all that sincere congratulations are offered to Susan Viana in recognition of receiving the Queen Anne's County Excellent in Business Award as Volunteer of the Year at Fishergate Incorporated. Presented this 20th day on behalf of the Queen Anne's County House Delegation, Delegate Stephen J. Aarons, Jefferson Grace, and Delegate J. Jacobs. Congratulations. Thank you, Susan. All right, we're going to move to the second award, and this year's second award uh, recognizes the Environmental Awareness Award. Uh, this year's Environmental Awareness Award goes to a person who's been involved in the environmental industry for 30 years. They provide quality service and water experience to homeowners, real estate agents, and, and the business community in Queen Anne's County and surrounding areas. They are, they are a big supporter of the Clean Water Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, and the Bay Restoration Fund. They are certified with the Maryland Department of the Environment to collect and analyze drinking water and inspection of on-site sewage disposal systems. He also worked in his family-owned business as a young teenager. In 1991, he and his sister Eva uh, started the Chesapeake Environmental Lab, where they just celebrated 25 years. This year's Environmental Award goes to Dominic DeGiovanni. Unfortunately, Dominic and Eva's mom passed away this week, and he's not able to be here with us. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family, and we have the same proclamations that we'll just move to the next one. So, thank you. All right, here's a pretty good one. Third Award recognizes this year's Entrepreneur of the Year. I'm proud to present this myself. The Entrepreneur of the, Award, Entrepreneur of the Year Award is presented, presented to a business or business owner that demonstrates outstanding leadership and management of all facets of business that include growth, profit, and staffing. 
This person launched their business five years ago. They received their associate's degree as well as business management and entrepreneurship from Anne Arundel Community College along with, their, along with their bachelor's degree in food service entrepreneurship from Johnson & Wales. Any morning you will see this person in their shop preparing the first morning rush, uh, preparing for the first morning rush with fresh coffee and homemade baked goods, baked good items. She employs seven plus employees and is, and is always looking to hire good, dedicated, customer service friendly individuals. Her store is a great meeting place for the locals with a warm greeting from her staff. This person has received many awards from the Golden Anchor Award sponsored by the Shore Update in 12, 13, 14, and 15. Best Break Bakery in What's Up and What's Up Eastern Shore. She won the Spirit of Entrepreneurship, Rising Star from the Entrepreneurs Exchange, and she was also awarded the National Association of Community College Entrepreneurship Alumni Entrepreneur. She has a passion for what she does. This year's Entrepreneur of the Year goes to Heather Howe, Fields of Heather. Congratulations, Heather. All right. Moving on to the fourth award, it's going to be our Public Servant Award. The Public Servant Award is prevented, presented to a person or company who has demonstrated a strong record of community involvement throughout the year. We are very fortunate to have this person in our community. This person has been involved in the community for many years, helping people with providing shelter, food, and clothing to those less fortunate. They are a grant writer. Um, Excuse me. They are a grant writer and have the responsibility with finances, legal issues, and other operational responsibilities for the organization she represents. You may see this person addressing the county commissioners, the community at large, or a church group. She's a huge advocate for the homeless and those in need. It's with great pleasure that we present this year's Chamber's Community Servant Award to Krista Pettit of Haven Ministries. Thanks, Krista. All right. Last award for the day is the Business Leader of the Year. This award is prevented, presented, I keep saying prevented, it's funny, is presented to the individual who has demonstrated the exceptional qualities that are needed in managing a successful business organization throughout the year. The nominee should be a visionary and possess outstanding leadership attributes that include an ethical business practice, a record of outstanding corporate citizenship, a proven record of business accomplishments, and a commitment to the highest standards of management that have led to their business as being among the very best. Our next award recipient is a founder of a local business on Kent Island. They are celebrating 30 plus years in business and just recently did a large expansion. At that time, he was only one of three dentists operating on Kent Island. Since day one, he has been dedicated to the mission of providing the most comfortable, compassionate, and state-of-the-art dental care in the entire region. He has been treating patients with unmatched personal, caring, chair-side chair manner that has earned the favorite dentist honors for many years by local media and patient vote surveys. They are not only, they are not only known for providing exceptional dental care, but for offering top, offering, but for offering to uh, offering top for their generous contributions to local charities, sorry, <laughs> and, his, and his partner's annual Smile for Hearts free day of dentistry events. If you go to their website, you'll see some of the testimonies such as, everything is always perfect, professional and compassionate. Their staff is friendly and you'll feel like part of the family. My first appointment, I found them to be very good. I am excited to see how their future renovations and expansion of the office turns out. Looking forward to a long relationship. 
We are proud to have this individual as a member of the Chamber and our community. I am proud to announce that Dr. Scott Billings of Eastern Shore Dental Care is this year's Queen Anne's County Chamber Business Leader of the Year recipient. All right, just real quick, if all the, the uh, 2016 Excellence in Business winners could come to the podium, we'll take a couple pictures. Yeah, if we could have um, our elected officials and um, our winners, that would be great. Um, also, I'd like to recognize um, Debbie Bowden, who's with e-commerce. Thank you, Debbie, for attending. And are there any other elected officials? I miss anybody? Okay. Thank you. And we do have a reception inside um, the room to the right. So if you'd like to um, go in, Susan will we'll check you in. And uh, we hope that you enjoy our, our Excellence in Business Expo this year. Thank you.